Hello out there YouTube community. I have another video today. Today we're going to talk about some more biblical history. Uh, so what I did is the shirt I chose to wear for this, since I am going to be talking about the Bible and leading, reading a few scripture verses. Why wish upon a star when you can pray to the one who created it? Okay, so today in biblical history, what we're going to talk about is the concept of women blaming men for all their problems. Most people would think this is probably something new that started right around the time of the 1960s when the bra-burning crowds took to the streets in protest, sacrilegiously burning their bras and throwing their tools of torture into You've the streets at the, at the absurdity of a housewife life. All right. We've grown into a society where people are conditioned pretty much that women are always right, men are always wrong. Okay, so we're going to be reading from Genesis 16, the birth of Ishmael. Starting with verse 1 here. Now, Sarai, Abram's wife, had not been able to bear children for him, but she had an Egyptian servant named Hagar. So Sarai said to Abram, focus on that part of the verse. The Lord has prevented me from having children. Go and sleep with my servant. Perhaps I can have children through her. All right, so what Sarai was doing was she was making an agreement to have Hagar be a surrogate mother. All right. Now, notice, as the verse continues, and Abram agreed with Sarai's proposal. So Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, the Egyptian, Egyptian servant, and gave her to Abram as a wife. All right, now, during the time of Genesis and Deuteronomy and a lot of the books of the Old Testament, God allowed men to have more than one wife. There are specific criteria for how the husband must treat all of his wives Recorded in Deuteronomy. Like he can't treat one wife better than the other. All right. Uh, so Abram had sexual relations with Hagar and she became pregnant. But when Hagar knew she was pregnant, she began to treat her mistress, Sarai, with contempt. So Abram agreed with Sarai's proposal. The Bible does not mention whether or not Hagar knew about it or whether or not Hagar wanted children or not. So now let's look at verse five. Then Sarai said to Abram, this is all your fault. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. Now, whose idea was it? Go back to verse 2. Sarai's idea. So what do we have here, folks? We have a woman trying to blame the bad results for her bad idea because she didn't want to wait for God to heal her womb on a man. So just remember, ladies, when you're out there walking around pointing the fingers at men, for everything they do that's wrong, the next time you're feeling all proud and so good about everything your bra-burning ancestors did for you in the 1960s, just remember, every time you point a finger at the man for something you're responsible for, you're regressing back to about 2500 to 1250 BC chronologically, as historians have found that... Genesis covers a period of human history of about 1,250 years and originated originally about 2500 BC. As always, folks, thanks for watching.